Welcome guys to the Poker Auto Body Shop and today you're here with Daniel and this is my friend Mohammed. And as you can see we're going to be teaching you guys how to polish your car and also how to remove above the surface contamination. Now we have two customers that request to get work done on their car. One of them will obviously want to get this polished and the other one will want to get their car fully clean. So in this video, we'll give you two sets of guides on how to do that, and hopefully you will learn and you'll be entertained. But We're about to go meet one of our customers right now. His name is Isaiah Barfield. He contacted us yesterday and said he needed a polishing on his car. So we're gonna go down, see what the problem is, and we'll show you how to resolve it. Hey man, what's up? What's your problem with your car? My car is looking pretty flat. You can go do a polish up. Like, oh, that's all you need? Stuff. That's all you need on your car? Yeah, that's pretty, pretty much. much. Alright, we'll take your car off your hand. No problem. We'll have you it to take... you around 2.30. Uh, we'll get it delivered to you and everything. Have a good day, sir. You too. Alright guys, so we basically just got our first mission or task. We just took Isaiah Barfield's car. We're going to head it to the Los Santos Custom. We'll show you how to fix it up, make it look real nice, and put that nice, shiny flow on the car. Alright guys, we basically have Isaiah's car here at the Los Santos Custom Shop. And now we're going to show you how to fully detail it and how to put the polishing on. So now first, you're going to want to get the cream as you can see I have the cream in my hand and you're just gonna wanna put it on the car yep just 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 like that you know you wanna get on top of the car and get every single spot you can just like that now obviously we're walking on the car but our shoes are clean so don't worry about that so now as you can see I have the buffing machine in my hand so now what you wanna do is you don't want to active make it turn yet so you just want to take the buffing machine and just wipe it against the car so you don't make a mess and then after that you want to take the buffing machine and you want to set it to a thousand rpm see that dial right there that's that's how you'll set it to a thousand rpm because you don't want to set it too fast and then you start swerving out of control or set it too low and then you barely won't get anything done so then good so now after you've done all that you'll take the buffing machine you'll put it on the car and you'll basically start doing your work and this is how you basically use the buffing machine to polish your car make it look look nice and this is an example as you can see some of the car is already getting shiny and it's already looking polished just like the hood if you look at the hood it's looking pretty nice so basically that's an example of how you will want to polish a car and we will send it in and let our technicians do the rest while we handle another customer's business. Alright guys, as you can see this is what the car should basically look like when you're finished polishing. Look how nice, look how unique it looks. It doesn't look as bland as it did before. It actually has oomph to it. So this is basically how the car will look nice when you polish it and if you do it correctly it will and should come out shiny and looking like this. Now we will take the car back to Isaiah and hopefully and see what he thinks about the car. Hey Isaiah, what's up? Do you like how the car is looking? Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. nice. Is this like what it. you wanted? Alright sir, this will be free of charge since you are our 100th customer of the day. So we will just give you the car and you'll be on your merry way. Alright, thanks. Have a good have, day sir. Have a nice day. So as you guys can see, that is how you will polish your car and that's how you will basically satisfy another customer. Now, we'll be on our way to another customer that has asked us to remove above the surface contamination and we'll show you many different steps on foaming down the car to clay barring the car 
and showing you what above the surface contamination is. We'll see. After one of our other customers, he called us. Something went wrong with his car, so we're gonna go talk to him right now. He's right underneath us. We just have to wait for our pilot to land us. Mmm, nice view. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, there's his car. Mmm. Oh, it looks like above the surface contamination. Let's go talk to him and ask him what happened. Hey, man, what's up? Hey, yo, Danny and Muhammad, what's up? Um... I mean, I had problems with my ex-girl, and she came to the house and battered down my car. I just wanted to see if y'all was able to fix it. Damn. You forgot to pay yeah. child support or something? Yeah. Damn, Damn man. Uh, dang it, it looks like a the surface contamination to me. What does it look like to you? Same thing. We can get it done. When do, when do you want it by? Uh, do you think you guys get this done by three? Boy, we'll get it done by 250. 240. 240. Y'all bugging. This is yeah, easy. Alright. Have a good day, man. We'll take we care of We can take our private jets, one of our private jets, to get you home. Have a good day. Alright, guys. Obviously, you can see we got another customer's car. We're basically going to take it, take it back to Los Santos Custom. And since it's above the surface contamination, we'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to remove it, how to basically get the car back to tip-top street. Alright guys, we're back here going to fix a lot of those cars. Now as you can see, this is a lot of above the surface contamination and we'll basically show you how you would clear this off your car. Now first, you would want to rinse down the car, get it lubricated, no homo, just to get it wet. And then as you can see, I have the car soap in my hand. So what you'll want to do is you'll basically just walk up to the car and put the soap down. Just put it all around town. Bring it around town, all around the car. Make sure you don't want to leave no spots, even when you get the rims or whatever. And now you'll probably just take a mitt and you'll wipe it down of, of the car. Whoop! <laughs> you'll get a mitt and you'll basically wipe down the car. All, make sure you get all the sections of the car down and hopefully it will be fine. And now what you want to do after you do that is you basically will want to wash down the whole car again. Alright, and then what you want to do is you want to take out the clay bar. Now, when you get the clay bar out, you'll want to walk up to the car, you'll basic, and you'll basically just keep rubbing it like that. Now, what this will do is shall move any hard to see above the surface contamination and it will make the car smooth. Now, you will do a plastic bag test after this to make sure it's really smooth. But to, to know if you're done, just take your fingerprints and glide it across the car. And then you'll see how smooth the car is and you'll know whether you're done or not. And when you're done with all those processes, this is what your car should look like. Notice how the car is shiny, it looks fresh, it looks brand new. After you followed all our full step procedures, you should notice that the car should be looking clean as this. And if you feel it, you'll notice that it is smooth and you'll just be able to glide your hand right across without having no resistance or without feeling resistance so now as we're done with this car we'll drive this car back to the customer and hopefully he is pleased with our service all right guys we just finished galato's car this is what it should look like when you finish and now we're going to carry it back to him to see how he thinks of it you like your car man Damn, this is my car. It looks dope. Yeah, man. It didn't get wrecked like last time from the eggs. 
<laughs> we hope no so too, man. Though, okay. <laughs> you already know that, bro. We we hope you enjoy your new car, man. Stay safe. Pay right, your child support this time, alright? <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, as you can see, that was another W and they enjoyed the way that we treated the car. And we hope that you guys fully understood on how to remove above the surface contamination. Alright guys, this is the end of the, of the tutorial for the Poker Auto Body Shop Company. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you got something from both tutorials on how to polish the car and also how to remove the other surface contamination hopefully you guys learned something today and have a good day dumbass see you guys later all right guys this will be the end of the video this will basically be the credit part of the video i just don't want to leave without giving credit where credit is due and these are basically all the people that have helped us in the production of this video basically on my right that is Kelber. he was the plane man he was a person flying the jet he basically made us go around the map a lot quicker he made us land when we were meeting up with galato the person in the middle that is isaiah barfield you guys already know him he was the person that allowed us to polish his car. You know, he came looking fresh like he was ready to do business. And after that, we have Gelato, who was involved in the baby mama drama. His baby mama wrecked his car, and we had to come there and fix his car with the above the surface contamination. Alright guys, so basically this now will be the end of the Poker Company Auto Body Shop repair i hope you guys have a nice day enjoy and see you all later <laughs> yep just 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 like that you know you want to get on top of the car boy we did. boy <laughs> yo we did this last time too son wait is it is it the car is I, I, um, I, I think it's going away. I think it's going away. I think it's going away. I just keep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, we're about to talk to one of our other customers. He called us. Something went wrong with his car. So we're going to go talk to him right now. He's right underneath us. We just have to wait for our pilot to land us. Hmm. Nice view. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, there's his car. Hmm will have to do is get soap rinse down the car first like just fully in no, water no, first first you have to start with the least aggressive method then move on slowly move on to the more aggressive method if the least aggressive method isn't working the first method is just simple water and soap to see if the that works if it doesn't we move on to more aggressive methods such as clay barring you know you have to clay bar a car after you wash it nah not all the time yeah you do isaiah you have I to die. clay bar a car right yeah see well i guess we have to sour 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 so i got that sour yo sir you want some sour 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 hot and ready sour 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 <laughs>